Welcome to Gray on Math. For us to solve this problem, we have two rectangles, the green and the blue one, which is over and above a yellow rectangle with an unknown area. The green rectangle has an area of 20 square units, while the blue has an area of 12 square units. We are required to find the area of the yellow region. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is we label the lengths. So, since we have a distance in between the lengths of the green and the blue rectangle within the yellow, we call this distance as x. And this distance should be, since this is 10, then this length of the green should be 10 minus x and this length of the blue should be 9 minus x and since the total height of the blue plus yellow is 6 then we label if we label this as y let's label it as y then this is actually the blue will be 6 minus y and if this is of course we label this as y then this height of the green should be 7 minus y okay so since we are interested in finding the area of this yellow rectangle then area is actually equal to the sum of the length and that would be 10 minus x plus x plus 9 minus x times the height which is y and we can cancel this and we have area is equal to 19 minus x times y so okay so next is we focus on the green rectangle so for the green rectangle we have to make an equation about the area we have 7 minus y times 10 minus x is equal to 20 and this for the blue rectangle we have 9 minus x times 6 minus y is equal to 12 okay so next is we simplify this first equation by foil method we have the 7 times 10 this will become 70 minus 7x minus 10y then plus xy is equal to 20 then next is the second equation we have 54 minus 6x minus 9y plus xy is equal to 12 next is we add i mean subtract this equation 2 from equation 1 therefore we have 8 for the right hand side and for the left hand side we have 16 minus negative 7 plus 6 this becomes positive because it will be multiplied by negative because we are subtracting it so negative 7 plus 6 this becomes negative x then this becomes negative y equal to 8 and therefore we have x plus y is equal to 8 Okay, so next is we use the second equation.
9 minus x times 6 minus y is equal to 12. And we plug in the value of x plus y is equal to 8. And we can simplify this by making it as y is equal to 8 minus x and for we, when we use that we have 9 minus x times 6 minus y and y is actually 8 minus x is equal to 12 so we have 9 minus x times 6 minus 8 then that will give us negative 2 then plus x is equal to 12 then we simplify by call method we have negative 18 plus 2x plus 9x minus x squared is equal to 12 and we have negative 18 plus 11x minus x squared is equal to 12 and if we simplify further we have x square minus 11x plus 30 is equal to 0 then we will solve this resulting quadratic equation okay so next is we solve this resulting quadratic equation then we can actually solve this by factoring so we have x minus 6 times x minus 5 is equal to 0 and therefore we have two solutions actually x minus 6 is equal to 0 x is equal to 6 and if x is equal to 6 then y is equal to 2 because we need to find a value that will sum up to 8 and for the other solution we have x minus 5 equals 0 x is equal to 5 and y should be equal to 3 okay so next is we are going to check which of these solutions should give us a logical and correct answer so if we are going to use 6 2 then we have to use this on both of the equations then one equation is 7 minus y times 10 minus x is equal to 20 then 7 minus 2 times 10 minus 6 is equal to 20 5 times 4 is equal to 20 then this is correct then next is we use it on the other equation 9 minus x times 6 minus y is equal to 12 so x is equal to 6 9 minus 6 and y is equal to 2 6 minus 2 and is equal to 3 times 4 is equal to 12 so 12 is equal to 12 so this is a correct solution okay next is we find the area for this particular solution then for this solution the area is equal to 19 minus x times y so area is equal to 19 minus x which is 6 times y which is 2 then we have area is equal to 19 minus 6 is equal to 13 times 2 that will give us 26 square units okay so next is we use the second solution 5 3 and if we plug in it plug it in the first equation 7 minus y 7 and y is equal to 3 and 10 minus x where x is equal to 5 
is it equal to 20 so this becomes 4 times 5 is equal to 20 so 20 is equal to 20 and next is 9 minus x so 9 minus 5 times 6 minus 3 is it equal to 12 so we have 4 times 3 yes it is equal to 12 and therefore this 5 3 is actually a correct answer but the corresponding area should be 19 minus x we are going to use this equation again times y so area is equal to 19 19 minus 5 times y which is 3 so we have area is equal to 14 times 3 therefore we have area to be 42 square units and this is our answer for the second solution okay so now to illustrate the two solutions we have x is equal to for the first solution we have x is equal to 6 and this should be 6 and if that is 6 then this should be 9 minus 6 this should be 3 and this should be 10 minus x so 10 minus 6 is 4 and the height is y but y for the first uh, instance is actually 2 so this distance is actually 4 minus 2 I mean 6 minus 2 this becomes 4 and this for this green triangle we have since this is 2 then this should be 7 minus 2 this should be this distance should be 5 and for the length of the green is actually 4 again and if we check the area of the green we have 20 for 5 times 4 and for the blue we have 3 times 4 is equal to 12 and for this yellow we have 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 3 13 we have 26 square units and for the second instance we have x to be 5 so this should be 5 and this is actually 9 minus 5 this becomes 4 and this becomes 10 minus 5 this becomes 5 and this is actually we calculated this to be 3 and 7 minus 3 is actually 4 and since this height is 3 then 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 and if we check the area of the green we have 4 times 5 20 that is correct and if we check the blue we have 4 times 3 becomes 12 so that is correct and for the total area of the yellow we have uh, 5 plus 5 plus 4 that becomes 14 times 3 and that becomes 42 square units and these are our are our answers 26 square units and 42 square units okay so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye